My people, my people, it's about that time. Like a boss. Live from the USA helping you get paid every day. This is the boss of Bitcoin, the Cristo of crypto. It's your boy BK. And if you don't like me, you must not like money. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Today we are looking at a potential new uh, strike, you know, hack from uh, one of the global organizations that are, uh, you know, predicating a lot of these, um, you know, secur security threats around the world. This has happened, uh, you know, as recent as last summer um, in Las Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world. And so that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Was Microsoft hacked? You know, and um, how we already have a better, better viable alternative in blockchain technology. So if this is your first time tuning in, congratulations, baby. You are now rocking with the best. My name is BK, also known as the Crypto Trader, and I'm the boss of these charts, as you will soon find out. Every day I grace this microphone with my voice is another day you get to profit as a result and today is no exception. So if you haven't done it already, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on. I come on seven days a week because the markets don't sleep. And uh, this is one of the fastest growing crypto trading communities on YouTube. You are officially a part of history. Go ahead and rep your city if you want to win some free Bitcoin. Every video I do, I give you a chance to win free BTC. All you need to do is leave a comment and uh, let me know where in the world you're tuning in from. We have a global community and I will get to the comments, uh, the shout outs at the end of this video. Now let's go ahead and make this money. This is a uh, national news. Companies around the world hit by Microsoft outage, right? One thing I've learned, you know, being on this earth as long as I have, these publications don't always direct you towards the single source of truth. You know, they call it the spin room. It's like they'll use different words, uh, you know, instead of saying really what it is to control the perception. Why? Because Microsoft is one of the uh, largest software IT companies in the world. And if they say it was hacked by a 17 year old, they might lose a little bit of credibility, you know, with the next trillion dollar investment. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm, I'm guessing that they were hacked. You just don't build a software enterprise and allow it to go down unforeseen, uh, you know, to affect all of your clients downstream. Like this is the hundreds in the hundreds of billions of dollars uh, with regards to the impact that it's uh, affected the American economy. One of the biggest IT hacks slash outages, question mark, has <laughs> disrupted companies around the world. You can't even fly. You know, you, you're lucky if you could rent a car and drive to get to where you were going because there's no telling uh, when when these, uh, you know, flights will be rerouted and, and money will be reimbursed. It's crazy the impact to the economy. They say thousands of flights were canceled. You know, workers in cities from Tokyo to London all over the world have been negatively impacted. They're calling it the largest IT quote outage, right? This is basically what they did worry about with Y2K, except that actually happened. Like everything went dark, um, you know, and, but they're not calling it a hack. Of course, you know, they do not want to, you know, allude to the fact that the indestructible giant can be taken down, you know, with a stone and a slingshot. But nonetheless, here we are. I think it's relevant to blockchain technology because it has happened. Here in Las Vegas, this is the epicenter for financial transactions like you know las vegas was built on top of money moving hands and uh this happened i believe uh last september this is vegas paulie c he's a, a notable personality here uh in the city of light and this is his video so check it out real quick for hacking mgm resorts in september and crippling them for 10 days in the big hack this story is from the Las Vegas Review Journal. 
He was released on bond. He's 17 years old. My goodness, just a baby. After he was apprehended by the West Midlands Crime Unit in Walsall, a small city in central England. So they had a 17-year-old hack uh, the computer systems here in Las Vegas, MGM specifically. And he was holding those hotels ransom. Now, Vegas policy goes on to talk about the Bellagio and uh, Caesar's Palace. Um, and and what's, what's unfortunate, I guess, if you want to call it that, maybe it's not, uh, is that oftentimes these uh, hackers demand cryptocurrency as payment because they deem it untraceable. And some of them are built to be, uh, you know, untraceable. Like, that's the intent and the design, right? Um, you know, so that kind of gives Bitcoin a bad light. Like, oh, only criminals use it. Like, well, technically, you know, some people I know then bought some things they wasn't supposed to buy that's not necessarily legal and the person they bought it from didn't accept bitcoin he only accepted dollars so it's not not you know you know not necessarily true like you know the, the weed do normally you know he only taking dollars he don't even mess with crypto so you know take it for what it's worth uh mgm cyber attack again this was national news i think he he took him down for like a week it was crazy um and i think caesar's palace paid him like 10 20 million dollars and they got their computers back up uh but this was you know a drop in the ocean compared to what microsoft uh allowed to happen and so i think it goes to speak to the uh validity of blockchain technology and why bitcoin is now unhackable like i remember hearing you know in the early days that in order for the blockchain to be overthrown you would need more computing power than there is available in the entire world like it's not even feasible at this point and and that's why it's a store of value um, because I told you in the last video, Bitcoin and blockchain are synonymous. One is the sun and one is the light. Like, you can't power the world without either one of them. But together, they have synoptically merged and created a new universe in which we now find ourselves uh, venturing towards. It's an amazing voyage, one of the most exciting trips in all the universe. Let me explain. Blockchain is the most secure IT protocol uh, ever bestowed upon humanity. Essentially, uh, it's like a pyramid, except all of the nodes at the bottom of the pyramid give the top of the pyramid its validity, its source of truth, and its point of redemption. Um, it follows Moore's law in a sense to where all of the uh, nodes around the circle communicate with each other. And again, in the middle, they have that one single source point of truth that they all agree to. In addition to that, it can't be hacked because it would need to fall victim to a scenario called a 51% attack to where 51% of the network agrees to overthrow it. That would be like burning, <laughs> you know, a trillion dollars intentionally and having everyone agree to do it at the same time. Uh, it's not going to happen. There's a thing called game theory where the individual is self-interested and uh, you really can't even coordinate or syndicate uh, that type of uh, malicious you know, overthrow. In the early days, it was possible if somebody would have had like 10, 20 million dollars and they would have jumped on these nodes, um, they could have overthrew the network, but then a new one would have popped up and it would have been true to the source. Um, but that didn't happen, right? So now we sit in a scenario to where other companies are experiencing IT difficulties. What does this mean for Microsoft? What does it mean for MGM? Well, it means that apparently they ain't as secure as they thought you were. And apparently... Um, a lot of these companies have something to learn about IT integration and building it through a protocol that can't be hacked because the status quo is not good enough today. I think that's the purpose of this video is like the way that the world operates today, the way that it has operated in the past 50 years, guess what? It's a better status quo, right? And that better status quo is currently valued at $67,000. That's a bargain, let me tell you. You can't buy a new Mercedes Benz S Class for 67 G's. Them run about 120 off the lot, 140 if you want the upgrades, right? You get you two Bitcoin, hold on to it for 10 years. Guess what? You are in the richest 1% of the crypto world, point blank, period, 
right? This is all I've been telling you guys since day one. Uh, this is the fastest way to change your life uh, in this world presently. And that's why I dedicate so much of my time, so much of my expertise, so much of my insight to helping you guys because I recognize it as that catalyst. This is the game changer. Like it's like king, up, king down, checkmate, new game started. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I was little, and uh, <laughs> we were playing a little video game like Jab Madden Madden 92. And, uh, you know, we'd be playing this game tight, like the whole game, whole game. And it come down to, like, the last play of the game. And you watch it. I'm watching my little brother, you know, score a touchdown, running down the field. And all of a sudden, <laughs> you jump up to the machine and hit the reset button. And he don't get to reach the end zone because you turn the game off. Of course he gonna be mad, but that's really what we watching with, you know, with the American economy. Like, it's running towards a goal it's never going to reach. Like, the dollar is designed to keep you in perpetual loss and debt. Corporate oligarchs are designed to keep you consumers and not producer. Bitcoin is designed to give you value and validate the truth. We are indeed at a precipice upon which we must be cognizant of this reality and all the forces that we may have been oblivious to throughout the course of our lives. I say these words so that hopefully you understand and you can understand that while this is the key to your financial salvation, it may not be the key to your mental liberation. Now is the time to start looking at the world differently. Now is the time to realize that there are individuals and groups out there much more mindful of all of these elements. And, um, you know, there are strategies to keep the truth suppressed for whatever reason that may be. So those are the words I have for you today. Bitcoin, by definition, is the single source of truth that we have to look forward to uh, throughout its existence, currently valued at 67,000 per unit. As I said, that's a bargain. It's the best financial vehicle ever bestowed upon humanity, and you could barely buy a new car for that amount at this point in time. Um, you know, so shout out to everybody. As I mentioned, this is one of the fastest growing crypto trading channels on YouTube. Shout out to you if you made it this far in the video. I'm giving away free Bitcoin every Friday. Shout out to all these people. If you want to get in the entry, just leave me some love in the comments, dropping knowledge on fractals and Fibonacci. Not too many people out here doing it. You know what I'm saying? Small thing to a giant. Somebody got to be the boss. Life size box. What it do? Good to see you, brother. Thanks for joining. Uh, Big Mike, Gainesville, shout out BK, yes sir, getting ready in Denver, Joe Avalon, good to see you, he's been on the channel for like six years, I remember seeing that guy in the early days, uh, Boss Up, Overstand, Boss Walking in San Diego, we got Greenville, South Carolina, dollar for dollar, salute the wealth stewards, yes sir, and uh, my man Francisco, shout out to everybody that left me some love in the comments, again, we give away free Bitcoin every Friday, and um, you know, we do have uh, free Bitcoin trading communities, Facebook group, hashtag Bitcoin, number one Bitcoin group in the world, and uh, number one Bitcoin group on Telegram. I'll leave you a link for those in the description. So with that being said, everybody, it's that time of the day. Signing out, boss. Boy, DK, no matter where you stay, Brazil to Bay, California, IA, all the way back out through jerk money. Good night, good morning, and good day. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your time. Hit that thumbs up button for a player one time. Do that for me if you appreciate mine. Till we meet again, stay cryptic, y'all. Peace. Like a boss. Huh. 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 Huh.